question of the week. These are questions asked by students about Hilchot Brachot, Bracha questions that come up. Here's this week's question. Let's say during Pesach vacation, I went snorkeling with my family, and we saw this amazing, strange fish. And we wondered, can I make a bracha on this amazing fish? Or would it be different from a zoo if we saw some amazing animals and we made a bracha on it? What should I do? That is an amazing question. You see, when we see things that are different, we are supposed to make a bracha of Mishaneha Briot, that Hashem creates things that are different. So, for example, when you went to the zoo and saw an animal you'd never seen before, something that's unique, then you would make such a bracha. However, because everything under the ocean, to the natural, normal person, is all unique and different, since we live above ground and everything else is under the ocean, one would never make a bracha because everything under the ocean is always in the category of being different. And therefore, one would not make such a bracha under the ocean. If you think about it, though, making bracha under the ocean is a little bit complicated. But what about the bracha for Osa Masabarashi? When I was snorkeling off the coasts of Hawaii, I wanted to make a bracha also on the beautiful coral reef and the beautiful fish there. I wanted to make the bracha of Osema Seberesha, that everything was made at the time of creation. And the only way practically that I could do that was by putting my face in the water and trying to breathe through my mask and it being able to make the bracha. There is an additional bracha that we make when we go to see the ocean, and that is the bracha of Sha'ed Hayam HaGadol, that Hashem made the great and beautiful ocean. <laughs>